And welcome to the first session of Pistonics. It's Byron speaking, and this new series is basically just for doing piston related work. Uh, getting into piston because I really like it. I like to dig through that code. I like to learn about it. And what I even like more is that at the end of the day, there is something moving on screen. A little bit just a red square uh, on a green background. Doesn't matter. What matters is the fun. So I would like to have some sort of fun project because, in fact, I would need to continue with uh, Sir Diamo, which can be fun too, but you know, there are no rotating squares at the end of the day. And I'd like to have some sort of mix between this project and um, uh, Sir YAML. I really want YAML support for um, Rust and there is something like it already, but not for Sir. So yeah, this work must continue. I must get back to this. Um, but I would also like to get my fingers, my hands dirty with Piston. So yeah, let's start with um, a very simple, example here so we've got main oh yeah by the way th thanks to the, to the heat everything is a bit more complicated and i really hope my recording will work i had a previous recording attempt already which failed i upgraded my setup a bit to make sure i pre-compile as much as possible and uh, you know hopefully don't run into into these overheat issues again I can only afford to use kind of one or two cores of my uh, four, let's say eight with the hyper-threaded virtual ones. So let's try to do that and fight the technology that basically breaks down due to the heat and maybe also due to the fact that I'm on El Capitan here that is just better software. I hoped it would fix my kernel, kernel issues, but it doesn't, obviously. Anyway. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I would like to create a new project here. And I think OpenRS is a good one. It's very small, it gives you just the, the basic frame that you would need for a project that supports testing. Uh, and yeah, by the way, what do I want to do? I think I should name it. It's called, I would like to write a little Oh, catch me. How's it called? Damn it. I'd like to write a little um, program that is one of these seven brilliant and highly addictive HTML JavaScript experiments. And oh, oh, the kernel is already spinning up. It's getting slow. Damn it. It seems I cannot do screen recordings in the seat. Terrible. But at least QuickTime Player will abort if it doesn't catch up. So it's called Catch It. And usually it doesn't run that sluggishly. But it's just my machine that basically freaks out. And uh, it's fun. It is quick. It's fun. And actually you can also get out of here and then come back in. I think that's a mechanic that might not be intended in the JavaScript version. But I actually like it and would like to have that as well somehow whoa but yeah I, I don't know maybe i should not look at it and maybe that then gets better i don't know so as you can see the main problem is that the kernel uses like three cores for what reason i don't know it doesn't do anything and this makes everything even slower than it already is. And it certainly doesn't reduce the heat at all. So I don't know what, what the heck this thing is thinking. Same thing with Yosemite. So El Capitan didn't improve on this at all. It kind of destroys my workflow, destroys my recording and makes working uh, while recordings are active a pain. And even without recordings, uh, it happens if you just uh, heat your CPU um, long enough. Yeah. Damn it, with that, it's actually quite quite impossible to work here, huh? Look at this. No fun. Well, it's not impossible, but it's no fun anymore. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, no, it's four cores. See, it kind of uses your entire CPU, and you can't do anything about it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, the heat is terrible also for humans, but that kind of behavior is not tolerable because it's a 
It's a Mac supposed to work, right? So let's try to keep going here. Uh, it's called catch it RS, obviously. So let's go there, catch it RS. I shall start fresh here. No cargo lock for me, please. The Domino will be interesting because I think I want to copy a few bits and pieces here from the getting started thing. Let's just I just take this and uh, set it up. Oh yeah, and I would also like to, that's probably something I should do first, set up um, Sublime Text here. Sublime Text, let's kill the workspace and adjust the name here. It's now catch it RS. Good. Now I should already be able to switch to that one and do a whole lot more in Sublime Text. Uh, um, switch project should be doing it. Now I can select it and jump to it. Honestly, this this kernel bug, I can't I can't get my head of it uh, from it because it's so incredibly annoying that you know it does the opposite of what it should do. Should. If your machine get hot, it gets hot, it gets even hotter because of that bug. And I don't know, it's in the kernel, you know, it's something. How can you debug that? Probably it's some kernel module that you just don't have to load, but how to find out which one it is. I already removed all the external party kernel modules and I know it's none of the stuff that I have here. It just, it just, I don't know, terrible. So here we have got catch it. Is there anything? Uh, so linter we have already enabled the main file. Yeah, let's, let's rename this. Let's make it I, I, I won't do the, the lib and uh, main split just yet. Actually, I, I probably should. Why not? Um, but let's set up the cargo tunnel then, huh? So that is now called catch it version 0 point, 0 point, 0 point 0.0.0.1 for now. MIT is just for a tiny but addictive game. That's what I say it is. Uh, repository, yes, yes, yes. Piston, well, let's call it game. <laughs> addictive catcher we don't have to use. Um, piston and fun, obviously. And the documentation shall be here at catch it rs once we are done with that so we have the basic setup already travis and uh, travis cargo and stuff so that will build the documentation for us once we have something anything else authors if we have bin we shall name and indeed make it just catch it dependencies piston i for now will just use the latest piston i hope that's okay even though I'm not sure if that is what you would want to do. Crates IO. Oh. The thing is, I have a program here that me to do two recordings at 24 FPS, which is less stressful for the machine and graphics graphics and everything. However, ever. Yeah, disabling HTOP didn't really do it. However, that will just freak out in the board if something is is going wrong and you might end up with an incorrect recording. Well, and after the previous session of boarded, here I'm back. Uh, it's cooler now, so the system will probably uh, not just abort the recording. Uh, in the meanwhile, I've done a few things. So uh, on the right side, you see the library that basically implements the, the state of the game as well as uh, provides an intermediate API for dealing with the logic, which is implemented in the engine. And on the left side, we still have kind of the sample app, but the sample app already gets 
the state that we we have if we have one and there are a few things that will probably change about this uh, real soon uh, but what we are able to do is run this thing and now see that we print a pointer uh, or print a rectangle which is our hunter position right now it's just this rectangle here and uh, yeah, it looks looks pretty good. Obviously, we wanna wanna change a few things, but at least we show it as a proof of concept that this actually works. There's also some some lag here for some reason that probably shouldn't be. You don't want this to lag behind. Uh, maybe it's the settings that I have oversampling VSync. I don't know, but yeah, definitely something that can be improved that we can work on. Let's start to try draw the individual. Uh, items of the game that we are interested in and see how far we get. Uh, but that shall be done in the next session. Thanks for watching and have a good day.